Hello guys, welcome back. So, sometimes if you work with Loki, you'll notice he'll have other gods and not come in. And he'll have them teach you lessons you wouldn't learn from him because you'll think, what do you know, right? Um, no offense, but Loki had tried to tell me for years, you don't have to keep up that Roman Catholic thing of honoring the dead in the creepy way you people do it. What the hell's wrong with you? And I don't mean about having, like, pictures or altar for the dead or something. I mean, Roman Catholics carry on some strange shit just to honor our dead. And it always has to be something that's kind of martyr in vain. Like, a food we absolutely hate that the, the deceased love, we will cook that. And I got he got me away from that. He got me away from that because he's the god of cooking. He's like, you are not wasting food in my house. So he got me away from green bean casserole. So what the fuck the universe makes sure I get a lot of every holiday? Green bean casserole. Yay. I guess it would taste better with bourbon. Bacon helps though. Anyhow. Uh, <laughs> yay back here. Anyhow. The one thing he couldn't get me to stop doing, and I both like it because it was her tradition to honor the dead, but that's a Roman Catholic thing, is putting up nativities. I really don't like them anymore. I went through a period of, oh, aren't those pretty, and they're nice, and then just, I guess, as all this garbage has come up out of me from being raised Catholic, I just look at them and I, like, almost shiver. So he's like, when are you going to stop doing this? And he can't get me to stop doing it. So Asmodeus had me put on some upbeat music. We had lit a candle. And I had been having color fluffle with the demons. And I had to yell at them. And, you know, basically everything that could go wrong was. I think it was partly Loki trying to shove me back on the right path. And it was partly the demons having a mood. So we got the candle lit. And it's a red star of all things. <laughs> it's perfect. And, you know, we got the candle lit. We lit the incense. and. We went in there and we sat down and he had me look at each figure at a time and read the energy. Because he's like, you know how to do this. So the stuff that was, ugh, went back in the box. The stuff I actually liked and was kind of attracted to, we kept out. We can ponder that for forever if we want. And I said, you know, it's funny when you take all the stuff out of the nativity and you have the nativity on its own. It's like the color changes, like it becomes this bright blue and all the ugh, stuff has been taken out. And he says, I want you to ponder on that, but we're putting, we're packing it all away. So we packed it all away. I said, it's like these, the, these pieces absorb the energy of all the negative stuff that went on during the holidays. And even though I staged them and everything else, I said, you know, nothing, nothing is budging that ugh, energy. And I, I said, well, you know, Satan, bless it, or whatever. And, you know, um, it was just, you know, it was one of those things where he says, how long are you going to keep doing this? And I said, what? And he says, you have that weird thing, and he can say it because he's a demon, of Roman Catholics of you do this stuff out of a sense of obligation. And he says, you do not have to keep putting this nativity up. You can keep the pieces out you like. I approve of that. And that they're angels. He's like, he couldn't he couldn't care less. He said, you can keep this up, but, you know, the stuff you like, but I could even keep the nativity frame up if I wanted to. But I said, no, it's pretty old. Let's put it away and protect it. But he says, you do not have to ever put this damn thing up again. And he says, your mother can do fine in the afterlife. So I actually put my jacket on because all the snow's gone. All the ice and snow are gone because it was pretty warm today. And I took the nativity out to the, um, garage and I put it away and he says how do you feel and I said a lot better I said I feel more of a well pagan energy in the house and I said it was like that was some kind of dark depressing vortex some of the pieces and like some of the energy they got into them because there are people who we know in life that are mean spiteful cruel people and that by the way is not what demons are about and, you know, it was like they had absorbed the energy to the point where you ain't getting rid of it. This stuff's tainted. You, it's, it's probably cursed or blurst at this point. Take it out in the woods and bury it. Let somebody find it. Stir creepy pasta. And I got cheers back here. And the moment I had the stuff back up, I put Best Step back up and I put her jewel and everything back up. It was like the energy went. And then Satan settled himself in the middle. I know what this sounds like. Satan settled himself, his kind of energy, in the middle of the altar. And Lucifer to either side. Like Lucifer's light 
around in Satan's darkness in the middle. And I'm looking at it, and I said to Asmodeus, I said, you're the smart one, and the architect, there's got to be a logical reason it looks like it. And he's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, logic. So it's it's a kind of resettled in, and we're kind of trying to work out the last of the Catholic trauma. And I'd actually given up, and they're not letting me give up. They're like, no, we will drag you. You are coming. So we're working out the last of the Catholic trauma, which is, as you can imagine, great fun. I may never get it out, but we are hoping. So, you know, I, I, and yes, I did wear my, my hair treatment outside as I took stuff out to the garage. I'm sure the neighbors were thoroughly impressed. I've had this on since, um, 11-ish? I don't know. I'm leaving it on all day. And since we did not get $2,000 that I know of, I made my own homemade treatment, made my hair not fall out. Um, basically I realized it's really fried. I can't afford 50 bucks to go get it treated, so... I just took some, um, I looked it up before I did it. You can use vegetable oil as a substitute if you have nothing better. Vegetable oil and um, conditioner mixed it up, and I'm just, I have plastic on it, as you do. It has a heat wrap and then the towel for heat wrap. I'm just going to leave it on until this evening, and may you all wish me luck. Let's hope the vegetable oil comes out of my hair. <laughs> Let's hope my hair don't fall out. Uh, so if I'm bald tomorrow, you know why. Um, but yeah, I and it just feels like lately the universe is trying to get me to slow down. I have objectives, and it's like every day it seems like something pops up that's super important that I didn't think I'd have to do that day. Like the hair, I looked at it, and I came on, you know, hours ago to try to make a video for you guys and I was just feeling it and I was like oh this needs done and I started that and then I'm doing the nativity and everything else so it's like the universe is saying slow down stop until you you can you know get some stuff done then you can get it done I don't know or it's just it's like being a punk like a, I don't know I'm exhausted though because it feels like every day I get up and I say, this will be the day no fucking horse shit happens. And then, you know, like you're just exhausted and you're doing dishes and stuff pops up. So, yeah, I'm tired. I could use a vacation. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.